protest ended up causing a pretty massive traffic jam because we're talking about a one lane road leading to the event. Um, unsurprisingly, the people stuck in traffic were furious about the situation, mad at the activists to say the least. And uh, there was a Burning Man attendee who said in regard to the activist, quote, I think protest is very important. But destroying and inconveniencing people doesn't do anything. I have solar panels on my RV. The protesters drove here in gas powered cars. They're literally making the climate worse. Yeah, let's stop hundreds of cars in traffic, causing them to burn more fuel. That'll really help the climate. And not everyone stuck in traffic was um, attending Burning Man. That's something else to keep in mind. This is in Nevada. Some people are trying to get to work. So overall, they have every right to protest. Now, at the same time, guys, at some point, the cops have to move them. Right? We get it, and eventually you have to, it's a public road, people gotta go through, etc. How contradicting can you be? They have every right to protest, but eventually the cops have to move them. That's like saying you have every right to rob a bank, but eventually the cops have to arrest you. Clearly, you don't have a right to protest if you're blocking the roads and stopping people from getting where they need to go. Was that the right way to move them? Uh, no. No, no. And the most important part of the story is the one that is not mentioned in any of the articles, which is a lot of states have passed laws allowing you to run over protesters. That's I, true, yes. And I know that that sounds impossible. No, it's true. Iowa, Oklahoma, Florida. And by the way, if MAGA found out about these laws that were all passed by Republicans, and you, if you told them, you know, if you go to, to support Trump and you're in a protest, the cops can legally run you over. Okay, but let, let's. They'll go. They'll okay. be furious about let's. it. Holy shit, Jank Uger! Can you spin that any harder? Those policies were made for this exact reason. People are tired of having the roadways blocked by dumb activists. And no, MAGA supporters would not be upset over these laws. They're the ones that are tired of the dumb activists blocking the roads. MAGA supporters don't really protest, other than January 6th that no one will shut up about. MAGA supporters rally, they don't protest, and if they do protest, they damn sure don't block the roads. He's catering so hard to his base, he's not even making any sense. And even Anna Kasparian calls him out for it. Let's calm down for a second. If you have a permit to protest, you're part, you legally assembled with people, you have everything, you have all your ducks in a row, and you're not blocking roads, even in these red states that pass this type of legislation, you can't just willy nilly run protesters over. If they're blocking the road, for instance, in some of these states, that's one of the elements that would essentially justify a defense by an individual who happened to um, hit a protester or run over a protester with his or her car. I don't know if Nevada has that law, but this cop seems like he thinks he's got all sorts of immunity to run over anyone he likes. That was crazy the way he barreled into them, let alone taking out a weapon against people who clearly don't have weapons. Everyone is so biased, it's maddening. If you ran over MAGA Trump supporters in Washington DC as he was going to court there. And then you say, oh, try that in Washington, that's what you get, we run you over and kill you, ha ha! People, all of Fox News, all of right wing would lose their minds, they're murdering us now in the streets. This dude is something else. Removing a barricade is the same as running over people and murdering them. You can't even defend your position, so you have to make up a new one. And since you're so obsessed, with an event that happened over two years ago, may I remind you that those Capitol protesters were let in the Capitol. If they forced their way in violently, then they would have gotten shot and likely killed, and no one would have cared. How do I know this? Because one small group of protesters that were violent and forced their way in, a lady got shot and killed, and they stopped. And guess what? No one cared. They're running over protesters who care about saving the earth and actually saving all of our lives, oh, boo, you're not helping corporate interests at all, boo. Look, I hope that they're strategizing beyond what they did with blocking a one lane road, okay? Mm -hmm. Because all of these tactics, I, look, people are gonna hate me for saying it, but it's the truth. It just turns people against you and by tomorrow, everyone's gonna forget about you. Well, no, I, I don't agree. They're desperate and the politicians are all corrupt and there's not that much you can do. So they're trying to at least put a spotlight in the issue in any way they can. And I don't blame them for their desperation. We're in absolutely dire times. 
The Democrats don't represent them, the Republicans loathe them. They all work for corporate interests. So I would direct it at almost all, all of these efforts at corporations. The corporations don't care if you block the highways. The only people that care are the hardworking Americans that are just trying to get to their job or someone that needs to get to the hospital because they're going into labor or having a heart attack. The police were absolutely right in the way they handled this. They have bigger issues to worry about than some idiots causing a traffic jam. Pissing people off that have nothing to do with your cause isn't a great way to protest and no one is going to be on your side. The sooner these activists realize that, the closer they will be to making actual change. And that change being letting people drive in fucking peace. But until then, I hope the police keep mowing down their barricades. But that's all I have for this video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Were the police right in taking down that barricade? And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.